How's it going everyone? My name is Brett and sometimes I wear a beret. Sometimes. Today is Wednesday, October 9th, which means that Ragnar Oktoberfest 2019 is just around the corner, but I've got some traveling to do before that actually happens, so let me explain to you what's going to be happening over the next couple of days for the event. Tomorrow I am flying out to Oakland, California. I'm actually from the Bay Area, so Friday and the rest of Thursday are actually going to be just kind of personal days for me. I'm going to spend it with some family, with some friends, and it's not going to be actually very nerf-oriented. I will be sorting through some stuff that I do have there, so I'll probably show you some of that. There is a mod party, officially mod party, uh, organized by the event on Friday, so I'll probably ask someone to record some footage for me, and then I'll include it here. On Saturday, though, there is going to be the Blaster Expo, so if you are familiar with FoamCon at Endwar, it's something like that. So there will be booths out, people will have stuff to sell, stuff to show. I actually have a booth this year. Wow, you didn't think I had anything useful to show in a booth, right? And then at the end of Saturday, in the late afternoon and into the evening, we have the Stalking Dead, which is your H, the H, the H, the Z. And then Sunday, there are a few things happening. You can play either the competitive or the pick up games. I am going to be playing the 5v5 King of the Hill rounds just like I did last year, but I'm not on the same team I was at last Ragnar Oktoberfest, which was the Davis Nerf Club. I am not on Team Paradox, which was my Foam Pro Tour team. I am on Team Einherja, Einherjer, Einharger, or however you want to say it. It's on our jerseys, so you can pronounce it as you see fit. But it is a Pacific Northwest team. I am playing with all locals. We trained a little bit, maybe we'll do well, and then we'll win all the cool prizes. But I'm not gonna get my hopes up. I'm just there to have fun, I'm there to fling some foam, and that is what's going to happen. The weather's looking pretty good, so I'm hopeful on that. There are some forced power outages though. That's kind of recent. That may affect the weekend, and I'm not really sure how until we get there. But don't worry, it won't be that interesting because I'm not bringing the brand new hotness that is the Ultra One. Just a couple darts. I am leaving at about 5 tomorrow morning, so I should probably finish up packing, but I did just realize that Foam Blast sent me a couple of these patches for me to do a giveaway on, and I haven't figured out what I would do with those just yet. Maybe the person who tags me and turns me into a zombie will get one of these. But yeah, thank you Foam Blast for sending those over super quick. I look forward to buying the other patches uh, at this event as well, at the Blaster Expo. But that's all I've got for now. Just traveling on my own this time too. Except for my Monster Cat buddy. Play us out. Alright, it's just after 8 a.m. here. We are getting set up at the Blaster Expo where people are definitely working and I am not because my table is pretty much done. There's me, my table runner. There's a banana that Captain Xavier already signed. Thanks a bunch. This is a uh, Sightland auction. You can buy me. Uh, the minimum bid is one banana and I'll choose my favorite to uh, fight on their team for the Stalking Dead. It's real professional and stuff. I also have stickers that I haven't pulled out yet because I'm more interested in this Nerf scooter to ride around on and cause havoc.
about an hour left of Blaster Expo. A lot of you folks have come by and said hi. Thanks for stopping by, taking stickers, and leaving some of your silent auction bids. I can't wait to choose one of those and give that person a patch. I just registered. I am Blue Team. I am number one. Uh, insert we are number one joke there. Though I don't know how long I'll survive this year with the Blaster. I just chronographed and the mags that are on it too. And the Blaster Expo is now done. I am going to the very far away restrooms now before the game starts and before we have lunch to kick off the stalking dead. Like I said before, I am on blue team. Some good folks on blue team again. Let's see if we can pull in a win. I do not know anything about the game at this time, so the organizers have kept it pretty well under wraps from people like me. Can't wait until we get started. Hey guys, what's up? Yeah, this is my loadout. I am the Banana Man with the ARL. Fun fact, this doesn't shoot straight. Sometimes it goes left and uh, sometimes it goes right. I haven't really figured out how to aim with it yet. As soon as the zombies start moving in, things are gonna get a lot worse. There's a lot of them. For a day. I have become a medic. Hooray, I'm gonna save people's lives now. We just completed Tears Challenge. Was it Tears Challenge or something else? All right, it was Tears Challenge. And we won some armor because Green Team didn't show up, so that made it a little bit easier, I would say. Uh, green team though, we just passed, they're all zombies. Whoops, that happens. We're in the final mission now. Yeah, I'm a zombie now. I died in the last couple seconds, that's life. But I wanted to be a zombie banana, and now I'm rotten. The game mechanic here is we're not actually like against our own team anymore, so. We're all still friends, guys. It's all still good. It looks really weird. Oh, well, I don't care.
like a phantom. I don't own that house in the Hamptons. And my two chains ain't gold at all. I can't buy you a diamond necklace. Being good with money takes practice. But somehow, I don't mind at all. Cause no one's got what we got. We hit it up on rooftops. No matter what. We just completed our third round for 5v5 today. We played Null team first and we lost against them. And then we played the SoCal team and we won against them. And we played Stick Together and we lost against them. Definitely showed some improvement through the game and having only really practiced the weekend before. We're pretty happy with how we did. And our goal from the get-go had been just to at least win one game. And so we accomplished that. And I think everyone at least did have a good time. Ryan, do you have a good time? Oh yeah. Jesse had a Excellent. good time. Lance had a time. Yeah, I get it. Jose is just hating life, so he's fine though. I feel See? censored. At a good time. So at the very least, we definitely found some areas that we would like to improve, but we did what we wanted to do, and now we're gonna watch some of these other games because we don't think we qualified for anything further, so I guess we're out. Of course, then the finals, and we can watch the cream of the crop battle it out as we learn a thing or two from them. So, uh, actually, in a bizarre twist of events, we did qualify for the next round. We are one of the wildcard teams, so now that we all got situated to accept our fate and just watch the rest of the day, I guess we do have at least one more game, and I don't know how well it's gonna go, but we're just happy to get another game to play after Dauntless plays. I'm trying to talk here. We lost, again, wasn't really going too well for a lot of it, but I did have a fun run near the end where I actually swept the rest of the team and then hit all three timers. It gave us a little bit of time back, but not enough. Now we're moving on to the third place round and then the final match. And uh, Null Team will be playing Dauntless for the winning game, which is reassuring that that's why we lost to Null, because they're in the final. So they're obviously a good team. And now we can all eat food without worrying too much. And Jayla won five dollars. Five dollars. Why five? Five dollars. Because we love your stuff. Five dollars. Well, what, my map? Your stuff. Oh, that's five dollars. In the trailer space, it's not free. Five dollars. Five dollars, five dollars, five dollars, five dollars, five dollars. How much these glasses cost? They look like five dollars. We call it good. We call it even. It is even five dollars. Never mind, I hate my team. That man right there, that man, he's out of lives. And 
that is officially the end of 5v5 for today. The final matches were a delight to watch, uh, especially the final round with Dauntless versus Null. That was a, a fantastic matchup. I watched the score change place during the match and uh, it was close. And it's good when the games are close. It keeps it interesting. We're backing up everything right now. Look at these, look at these posters. I'm, I'm taking a poster too, because I'm like a bronze level sponsor and I'm a vendor, but I don't sell anything. So thanks for the posters, guys. If you hadn't noticed, there are these geese that have been behind us like all day and they never actually rushed the field. So thanks geese for not ruining 5v5 or ruining our lives with dive bombing. All right, we're losing sunlight. Nothing like trying to finish editing your vlog when you realize that you haven't finished filming it. So just pretend that this is in fact still Monday or maybe a week later. I had a great time. I think it went really great. And I was just really happy to see everyone who came out once again to just, you know, play Nerf, hang out, play some games and have a goofy old time. I'm not gonna sugarcoat things and say that everything was perfect because not everything was perfect, you know, from the, the HVZ organization, sometimes, you know, things went awry, sometimes players got a little heated, but that happens everywhere. You know, you can't please everyone. That is definitely one certain thing. And if you're an organizer, you probably know that pretty well. As far as the HVZ specifically, going through my footage, realizing that I probably didn't do a good job explaining the entire HVZ setup, uh, like the story behind it, the missions that you could go on. They really tried to go that next step this year and do something that was pretty, epic, right? And I hope that they can continue that for the following years to come, maybe reuse some of those props because obviously that took a lot of time and effort to put together. And then the 5v5 I think actually was my favorite part of the event. I do like getting to play competitive here and there since I don't get to do it like every month. Even though we weren't the most intense team there, we didn't have the most training under our belt. We had, you know, some minimal training. We knew kind of what we wanted to accomplish, but we did just that. We won a single match and we, we played the other ones. We didn't get dramatically swept. <laughs> like we still put forth a good effort and it encouraged a lot of us to want to do better for next year. Now, funny enough, basically all the blasters I took down with me to the event were for 5v5 and I ended up using just the one, my FDL3, because it never really fails me. Thanks guys. I didn't get a lot of sleep this whole event. So I feel like I'm still trying to recover from that. The convention was smaller than End War, which was fine. But I still felt that for me, this kind of proved it. For me, maybe a booth wasn't really necessary. I had some stuff to show off, but I really didn't have that much. And I still found myself trying to float away and see other stuff because I wanted to see what was going on over here, what was going on over there. That's what I like to do. And it was still giving me a chance to chat with people over at their booth. At that convention though, I did get a few things, things that I could travel with. I got another banana. I got a, a waffle. I also got a, Pro 26 spring from Turf Blasters. And of course, Biggs came all the way from New Zealand. I got this bag and there was some chocolate in it that definitely did not survive this long. He had a lot of resin parts to give away and he bought my, uh, what is it? Power Strike 48 off of me with 46 of the 48 original darts in it. Kind of bittersweet, but I wasn't doing anything with it and I wasn't ever going to, so. Farewell, Power Strike 48, you are in a better place. And by better, I mean New Zealand. And here is my blue team, Stalking Dead, Bandana. No, blue did not end up winning this year, but we kept it nice and somewhat organized, which is exactly how I like it. And for the few of you who filled out the silent auction at my booth for me to play on your team during the HVZ, I ended up actually not giving away a patch for that because the winner I chose was Shozu, AKA the blue team, uh, captain this year. I didn't give him a patch because he already had a beret patch. So instead I gave him a banana costume. So I don't have my banana suit on me anymore. It's, it's still in California. I wish I had the sheet in front of me, but I can't find it 
because that's my life right now. That is going to do it for my Ragnar Oktoberfest 2019 event and travel vlog. Thank you very much for watching this far if you have, and thank you for your patience on getting this one out. I know it took a little bit longer than I was hoping for, but I did happen to see more of the photos come as a result of waiting about an extra week. So those have been cool, and there's some good ones of me out there that I've been posting on my Instagram if you're curious. If you are at the event, let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite part of the event was. If you got to see me on the scooter, in the banana costume, with the ARL, full meme bray. Yay. <laughs> the highlight of the weekend, absolutely. I'm really sad I didn't get to steal that scooter. Don't know what my next event is going to be. End War is still on the docket for June, but maybe there'll be something in between that. We will see. I'll let you know. I can't wait to travel more for Nerf. Seriously been some of the most fun events I've gone to. Thanks again, everyone, for watching, and I'll see you later. Thank you.